Welcome listeners to episode three of the Digital World Podcast. I'm your host, Anthony Ivanovsky, and in this episode, I'll be showing you how to save some cash on your next Apple device this Black Friday. If this is your first time tuning into the podcast, I'm so glad you're here. And be sure to get subscribed to not miss any of the upcoming episodes. Because it's a digital world, and I'm here to help you navigate it. With the Black Friday shopping season upon us, and the holidays just around the corner, there's no better time to get into Apple's latest tech. And whether you're looking to shop for a friend, a relative, or yourself, we'll be walking through Apple's most popular items while showing you how to unlock some incredible savings. Let's begin with one of my personal favorites, and a device most of us can't live without, the iPhone. A common mistake a lot of buyers make is purchasing their new iPhone directly from Apple, unlocked and off contract. Unless purchasing a refurbished or secondhand model, I'd steer clear from the costly upfront purchase directly at Apple. The Black Friday to holiday season is one of the biggest customer acquisition periods of the year for cell providers. All of the big carriers are competing for your business, and this creates the perfect opportunity for you to snag an amazing deal. For instance, here in Canada, Carriers like Freedom Mobile will include some of the latest generation iPhones from the 14 to the 15 at no additional cost within a two-year agreement. And some of the even bigger carriers like TELUS or AT&T in the United States will have deals across their Bring It Back programs. Similar to leasing a car, cell providers will give you access to the absolute latest iPhone every single year as long as you cover the cost of the rate plan and remain an active customer. When your contract is up, you'll have the ability to buy out the phone for a significantly reduced amount or move on to the next iPhone. So if you're in the market for the latest iPhone, I strongly recommend looking across your local carriers and not making a purchase directly from Apple. Furthermore, Signing a cellular agreement around Black Friday is very wise, because when your contract renews a year or two later, you'll be able to negotiate another Black Friday discount, getting you the best bang for your buck. Now, for those who are not particular about getting into the latest iPhone, there are still some great ways to save. Apple's iPhone SE is a phenomenal starter iPhone, packing loads of features and access to the Apple ecosystem of apps, media, games, and beyond. Almost every Black Friday, big box retailers will discount the SE, making it an even greater purchase. As deals pop up, do check across Best Buy, Amazon, or Costco to see who's offering the most for the SE model. From daily commuting to keeping productive at work, the Apple AirPods have become a necessary tool for consuming media. I also must say, looking across Apple's lineup, the AirPods make a great gift, especially for new iPhone users. The AirPods second generation, at less than 150 Canadian dollars when found on sale, make an affordable and fun gift. With over five hours of playback battery life, Apple's latest H1 chip, and automatic media switching between devices, you're getting a premium headphone you can take with you on the go for years to come. Further, for those who require noise cancellation, the AirPods Pro first or second generation, when found on sale, are an incredible option. Just be sure to do some digging to locate the best price as the Pros don't always go on sale. That said, some of you may be surprised, but big box retailers like Costco and Staples often supply discounts on all their AirPods during the holiday season. So be sure to keep an eye out beyond just Best Buy or Amazon. One area I'd steer clear from this Black Friday is the second-hand or refurbished AirPods market. These devices are very delicate and a product you definitely like to start fresh with. So continue to watch your local retailers as you might be surprised who will have a sale. A very popular gift for the holidays, and a device most folks don't leave the house without, is the Apple Watch. 
from taking calls on the go to checking notifications, tracking your steps, and beyond. Believe it or not, the newly released Apple Watch SE is packed with power and perfect for the first time Apple Watch user. And the great news is, most big box retailers will be discounting the SE and outgoing generation of Apple Watch Series 8 this Black Friday. Taking a closer look at the SE, you're getting heart rate notifications, 50 meters of swim water resistance across a retina display with over 18 hours of battery life. Plus, Watch OS 10 brings a whole new look and feel to the Apple Watch, making it a true pleasure to interact with. Looking at the Apple Watch lineup, it's easy to fall into the Series 9 or Ultra, but unless you're taking advantage of a specific feature not found on the SE, such as the EKG, I'd steer clear. For most consumers, the Apple Watch SE or Series 8 is a great way to go. And being more entry level within Apple's lineup, it's easier to find a great deal this Black Friday season. That said, you're not really getting entry level performance as the SE features a number of customizable bands, a ton of features at a price that makes the perfect gift. Next, let's look at one of the easiest Apple devices to learn and interact with. That is the Apple iPad. Almost every Black Friday season, retailers like Best Buy, Costco, and Walmart are running some form of promotion on the Apple iPad. Although finding the right deal can be a bit of a challenge with the main reason being the complexity of the iPad lineup today and sheer number of models available. That said, the 9th and 10th generation iPad are the best bang for your buck. When on sale, you're getting into a powerful and brand new iPad for under $500. For the average iPad user, these two models can handle just about any task, from consuming media on a larger display, to playing games, browsing the web, doing some light design work, and beyond. Both have support for the Apple Pencil and are perfect for students looking to take notes or draw. I've personally used the 9th generation iPad, and having the larger display with Touch ID is a timeless and robust design. Plus, depending on the deal in your area, and I'd like to echo this again, you're getting into a brand new iPad for under 500 bucks. Should you have your heart set on a Pro iPad, I would recommend taking a look at the M1 iPad Pro. Apple's fifth generation iPad is a more than capable device for the professional users out there. Honestly, other than two more GPU cores in the M2, the sixth generation iPad Pro is exactly the same as the outgoing model. Since the introduction of the M1 chip, the iPad Pro has become incredibly powerful and for those on a budget, I'd just grab the fifth generation at a discounted price. With such a vast lineup, getting into a new iPad can feel challenging. Just remember, you don't need to spend pro money to get pro performance. Apple's 9th and 10th generation iPads are incredibly capable and can be found at a great price this Black Friday. In the market for a new Mac this holiday season? Not to worry. I'll help you make an informed decision and get the best deal this Black Friday. If you're not sure where to start, I recommend listening to my MacBook Buyer's Guide linked in the description to select a model that's right for your needs. What makes this Black Friday an even better time to buy is the recent release of the M3 processors within the Mac lineup. This means the incredibly powerful outgoing M2 devices will be listed at a great price as retailers will likely be moving on from this stock. That said, if you had your eye on a new Mac, I'd strongly recommend looking at the M2 models across big box retailers and Amazon. There really isn't a reason to spend the extra cash on an M3 device. Apple's M series silicon is built to withstand the most demanding of workflows all day long. And depending on the stock in your area, you might even be able to snag an M1 device for an even greater reduced price. Overall, if you're not configuring a super custom specification this Black Friday, it's one of the best times to make a purchase on your next Mac. You know, I sometimes wonder how this item has remained in Apple's lineup, 
as it's always incredibly discounted on Black Friday, but never really purchased. That is the Apple TV. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of Apple and all of their products, but the Apple TV just isn't that exciting anymore in 2023. Especially in our era of digital media consumption and the wave of smart TVs on the market, it's a tough sell for the Apple TV. If you're looking to upgrade your streaming device, I'd take a look at the Google TV 4K or the Amazon Fire Sticks. These are incredible alternatives that offer some of the same functionality as the Apple TV for a fraction of the cost. Unless having the Apple ecosystem in every part of your home is important to you, there really is no reason to consider the Apple TV. Plus, during Black Friday, almost all of the Android-based TV boxes, like the Google TVs, are heavily discounted. For reference, I picked up my Google TV for less than $40 at Best Buy last Black Friday and could not be happier. So be sure to keep an eye out across Amazon and your local big box retailer for deals on a Android TV box. There are thousands of Apple accessories on the market, from cases to chargers, screen protectors, and beyond. One of the best times to accessorize your latest device is this Black Friday. A new iPhone case or wireless charger makes an affordable holiday gift, and almost every tech retailer will be discounting the latest Apple accessories. That said, since the introduction of MagSafe, some of the more premium stands, chargers, and adapters have become quite expensive, with brands like Belkin charging over $100 for a simple charger. But... Although it might be convenient, don't purchase these Belkin adapters directly from Apple at full price. Instead, visit the Belkin site directly and use the following code BF23 to save between 20 to 35% on some of their most popular accessories. And as a rule of thumb, unless you saved up gift cards or found an incredible deal, there's no reason to spend full price on products at the Apple store especially in today's inflated market. Getting the best deal for your next Apple device is key this Black Friday. And by doing a bit of research and setting up some alerts across the big box retailers, you'll be able to snag the best price for your next purchase. Hopefully this Apple buyer's guide will set you in the right direction. And I'd love to know what device you're considering purchasing this Black Friday. So don't be shy and connect with me. I want to thank you for tuning in to the third episode of the Digital World Podcast. If you made it this far, be sure to get subscribed so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. Remember, it's a digital world and I'm here to help you navigate it. Take care.